you've said several times there's been clear signs of improvement during mm. the five games. Yeah, you, here, but that, that hasn't been. No, no. Job, you, so clearly, you need you a need little bit of validation, or people st start to disbelieve that the guys are doing well for you. So uh, I think people have seen the change. Um, the guys have been fantastic. I have to say, in, in training and, and whatever, uh, their application and their the determination to change this situation round has been there, but we've we haven't been able to take that final step and and get three points on the board. Which uh, the longer it goes on, the more difficult it becomes. But uh, hopefully, now we've got three points on the board again after a long period. Hopefully, this will loosen the shackles off, so to speak. It, clearly, there's a little bit at times a little bit of uh, apprehension in our play and anxiety, but that's understandable. But uh, hopefully, this will help that. Talk about anxiety in the play, and obviously a lot of players had good games today, but Tadic at those key moments showed real yeah. nerves of steel. No, absolutely. I, I've just said to some of the other media outlets that until you actually work day in, day out with certain players, uh, you can admire them from afar as an opposition manager, and certainly I've always admired uh, Dusan as, as a player in opposition because he, he, he was always a guy you, you, you worried about uh, in terms of him affecting you adversely. But since, since I've come here, I've been really impressed with his, his quality of his work, uh, his demeanour, his personality around the group. Um, he's first class and uh, I'm pleased that he's starting to have this, this impact for us because um, uh, he deserved that. He's, he's a great personality to, to have in this situation. Mm. Well, we, we left him out last time only because we were looking at a different thing. I needed to know in terms of playing two up front with with three behind. Um, so that was the thinking behind that. Uh, we felt that it could work in that game. But obviously once I introduced Dusan and, and Nathan Redmond uh, in the semi-final, I think it gave us a little bit more um, threat. So that's why we started with them today. And. Uh, He's affected the game in a positive way for us. A uh, huge result, clearly, and uh, he's played a big part. Um, how do you see the pitch now? It was a unusual underscore piece in Everton. How do you see the last three games? It's well, we uh, we just got to try and maximise our opportunity, which is clearly, if at all possible, and, and we'll, we'll challenge ourselves to do it. Is it's the challenge is to win every game we have left. It's, it's not going to be easy. We, our last home game is against. Man City, the champions. So uh, they've tested everybody, as we know. So it's not going to be easy. The next two games clearly are going to be hugely significant for us. Uh, but what we have done, we've we've been able to generate pressure on the teams above us and, uh, and around us. And uh, and we talked about um, getting a result that would enable us to to make the teams ahead of us look over their shoulder. And we've been able to do that. So it's. It's just one part of what we have to do, but it's it's the the most important one. Uh, we needed to to win today, and we have. Mark, um, Chelsea just scored, by the way. <coughs> Good. <laughs> but how um, obviously the, the three points and the tangible three points mm -hmm. is massively important. But yeah. In terms of mentality and hope. Going yeah. Into it, and how big it, was this? No, we saw the reaction at the end of the game. It was it was huge for everybody. Uh, um, not only the players, but the support staff and. And everybody connected with the club. It's it's an uneasy situation, I have to say, and, and we're all conscious of the responsibility we have because we're, we're trying to uh, make sure and ensure that this club stays in the Premier League. So it's it's not going to be easy, but um, we're aware of the responsibility responsibilities. And I think maybe in the past, this season, maybe some of the players have been questioned in terms of recognising what this situation is, but. Uh, there couldn't be any criticism of them today. I thought they were first class, so um, it's maybe a long time coming. But now we're here. We've got to keep it and, and see if we can uh, get over the line. Still a lot to do, in fairness.